In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to test these LEDs with these multimeters. Now, about 17 years ago, I actually started this channel under a different name, but I started the channel using this meter. That tells you the age of this meter, but it's actually the cheapest of all the multimeters that I actually own. The unique thing about this meter is it does have an LED diode check specifically built in to the front of the panel. And I'll show you that here today. Now, if you haven't seen my original video from 17 years ago, check that out right here. So I picked out a red LED here and I'll show you how easy it is right now to use this Electrotech to see if your LEDs are good or if they have burnt out. So again, we'll take the longer lead and we'll push that into the collector port, the shorter into the emitter, and as you can see in the LED mode right there, our LED is lit up. So we know that this LED is good. If you put the longest lead in the collector, the shorter in the emitter, and it does not light up, then your LED bulb is actually burnt out. Okay, folks, it's easy as that. This Electrotech being a very cheap multimeter does a great job testing out these breadboard LEDs. On to the Fluke 101. This is a slightly step up from the Electrotech cheaper multimeter. This one's actually still fairly cheap. Again, I'll throw these links down in the comments. You can check those out on Amazon for yourself. And to test an LED with a regular style multimeter such as this, most of them are gonna have your diode mode, which is the triangle with the line. So we'll go ahead and push it into that. For mine, I have to hit my shift button a few times. So now I'm ready to check it. So this meter, as you can see, does not have any holes where you can just insert your LED right into it. So what you have to do with these is use your multimeter leads. Okay, folks, I've got my black lead on the shorter lead of the LED, and I've got the red on the longer. And I'll go ahead and shut the light off, and you'll be able to see that it is lit up. So there you have it folks, it is lit up. Using just your red and black multimeter leads, you can make that light up to check it that way as well. A Little bit harder to see. That's why the electric check is your best option, but if you only have a fluke or other multimeter with a diode mode, you can check it that way as well. Folks, last up is our biggest multimeter is the Fluke 87.5. Now this is a pretty powerful multimeter, uh, most used by professional electricians, but you may have one around your house. I just wanted to show that this will also test your LEDs as well. And it's actually the exact same method as the Fluke 101. So we'll go ahead and put it to the diode mode here again. Your black lead is going to go on your shorter LED lead and the red lead on your longer. And you can see there, it does light up. You're actually getting a measurement on your multimeter as well. That's just telling you the DC that's going across the diode. That's another way you can tell if your LED is burnt out or not. If you're not getting any kind of voltage across it, it is burnt out. Now, if you were to flip it around and have it backwards with the longest lead on the black and the shorter on the red, it's actually not going to do anything. So if you're getting the OL both directions, then your LED is bad. But again, with the shorter lead on the black multimeter lead and the longer on the red, it will light up there and give you a DC voltage across that LED light. Now, the DC voltage will vary with the size of your LED. So don't worry about exact numbers if yours doesn't match mine. So that's it, folks. It's that easy to test these LEDs, especially if you have this cheaper Electrotech multimeter. It's actually the bottom end of multimeters, but it does have that unique feature where you can plug in your LED or diodes directly into the front panel, which is pretty neat. Folks, if you found value in today's video, please, please subscribe to the channel right here and watch our next video here.